I'm excited, but I'm also kind of nervous because this story is something I've been putting off for a while. I've been wanting to share this story with you guys, but then I was like, no, this is going to be so bad for my name, like seeing the title, but the people that don't click to see the video, not gonna understand the context, and then they're gonna judge me. And then I was like, why do I even care about all that? And now I feel like I don't really care about all that. <laughs> if you ever see me like stare into the wall and like trying really hard to read off the script. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not reading any script right now. I usually do, but for this video, I wanted to go like completely natural because I'm trying really hard to remember what actually happened because I wasn't completely sober, you know? So just trying to remember while I was, I'm talking. So if you ever see me stare and like look a little bit confused and it's not because i'm making things up it's just because trying to remember what happened like five years ago so we are back in 2016 i believe i was traveling to new york i was going there to visit my friends celebrate new year's you know just have fun the usual well my best friend aurora which happens to be mexican she told me about the party that we got invited to, which happened to be in Mexico. And I was stoked. I have never been to Mexico, but I've always wanted to go. And I was so excited, and it seems like I was the only one that felt that way. Because everyone around me was like, are you sure you want to go there? Two young girls traveling alone to Mexico. What can possibly go wrong? this at that age you feel like you are untouchable nothing can go wrong as long as you are not putting yourself intentionally in stupid situations and i felt like i was responsible like a young responsible adult and i still feel this way <laughs> even though you might just not agree with that and also i was traveling with my best friend which is mexican like she knows the language she knows the people she knows the place she knows everything about mexico so i felt like i was basically traveling with my mother we were going to tulum which is now turned into a popular instagram influencer celebrity destination it wasn't like that when i was there there was only like three hotels and like a jungle and just like one-way street with a few shops and like a few restaurants it was like kind of dead like there wasn't that much going on and when i look at photos from recent photos i don't really recognize the place okay so when we first got there we stayed at four different places we were always like a bunch of people living at the same place but like with different rooms of course when we were having dinners or doing some activities we were always like get together like we were like a huge group of people so what we did during daytime was either like lay in the sun or exploring the place during nighttime we would usually go to parties going out like clubbing in tulum is not how you would imagine because there is no such thing as clubs the whole concept was the parties was in the jungle it was like a jungle themed party and it was in the middle middle of nowhere there was no reception on your phone like no signal at all there was not even street lights one day we were heading towards a party which was a little further away from our home which was the art house i think it was like a 30 45 minute cab ride i was a little like concerned about that but then again i was with all these people like they were always here and protecting me and i felt like this is going to be okay so we got there we had so much fun i got so drunk i barely remember anything from that night saw a couple of photos like later that i was actually sleeping <laughs> on the ground i don't know how people do it like without like being influenced by something else i mean four hours five hours that's enough for me like i want to go home at that point i could not just go back home because i had to wait for the people to be you know ready to go home how can i even call a cab like i don't have reception on my phone i was pretty reliable no 
reliant or how do you say that I was pretty uh, dependent on the other people to take me home with them and finally around 6 a.m. Aurora said that she was ready to go home so we moved towards the exit and then I remember seeing like a line of cabs waiting outside well it's still outside but you know i was like where did they all come from but uh somehow they knew about this party and they were all ready to cash in on those drunk people trying to get home the way it works is that you negotiate the price with the taxi driver before you get into the car so aurora did all the talking because she speaks spanish so they came to some sort of an agreement i don't know exactly what happened but we got into the car and we started driving this is when it all took a turn because it was like 20 minutes in and i felt like something is not right and I told her that I think we're moving in the wrong direction and Aurora tried to calm me down and was like no I told him exactly where we're going just wait we'll get there we drive like 10 more minutes and I tell her again seriously I don't think we're getting home and I can see on her face she starts to panic like not like a big expression just her eyes you know and I feel like a rush of horror inside of my body we're stuck in a car in Mexico we don't know this dude two girls one guy no and then she tries to calm me down again and she says that um, she told him where we're going everything's gonna be okay and then she starts speaking with the driver and I can tell that he's getting furious like he starts yelling and that's when I knew that this is not going to end well he stops the car in the middle of nowhere no lights there's nothing he starts yelling like he throws her out of the car and I'm so scared like we don't know where we are this is when I started like bawling my eyes out because I felt like we are screwed he picks up his phone and I, and I think he calls the cops because like 10 more minutes goes by and the cops are here <sighs> and I'm freaking out I turn around and I see my best friend with handcuffs in the back of her back <laughs> she's like yelling back at the cops at first there was like four cops now there were like cars like cops like from everywhere 20 25 like there was a lot of people there and what happens next is the taxi driver takes the money that we gave him and he just runs off like he's done and we're left here alone with the police and now she's telling me to give her my money and i'm like I don't have any money like I only have a card and I remember that I only had this visa card like that's the only form of payment method that I had with me I didn't really think about getting like a bunch of cards like when I'm traveling now I am so aware that I should have at least two cards with me like in case it gets lost or it doesn't work like you never know when you need another card I was like I cannot give this away because I'm leaving in like three days I'm going back home to Norway and I need money to get back home and I told her like no I don't have it like I lost it I had to lie because I couldn't give it you know and then she was like fine I'll give mine and she give her card and all of the money to the police they took it because it was like fine for making the tr like all of this happening i feel like this is like a part of their corruption you have to pay the police and then you can just go i don't know what exactly happened because remember i was really drunk at this point so i was like going in and out of like <laughs> almost consciousness not exactly but like i just remember like bits of this the cops had left took all of her money all of her belongings and we were just there alone and then she noticed that there is a car uh, with a man inside a few meters away and she runs up to him and she asks him like if he can drive us home he says yes are you sure this is a good idea after all of this are you sure you should ask like a stranger the only one here like like he wouldn't take advantage of this situation she said that's the only option we have like do you have a better idea what we should do and no i did not so we got into the car a stranger a man that was not a taxi driver he did not have a gps he did not know where 
to drive us. Do you know where we're going? And she said, yes. And I kept saying, are you sure? Which became like our thing, like later, like we kept like saying, are you sure as a joke? And then she was like, I don't have the address. I just know that we live in an art house. And I was like, oh God, we are screwed. Who knows about an art house? Like an art house, that could be anything. Luckily, I guess for us, because there was not much in Tulum at that time, he knew this place. So he actually drove us to the art house, place where we were staying. I was so surprised when I actually saw that we were heading the right direction. And I was like crying because I was so happy that there was actually somebody out there that was so nice and felt sorry for us that he would actually drive us. And we did not have any money. And then the car stopped because we were outside of our house. And um, <laughs> what's next? I think he wants some kind of payment, you know? Like he drove us all his way for what? Being nice? I was still scared. I felt like it was not completely over, you know? He could just lock the car and just drive off again. Like, we're inside his car. Like, what can we do? And she says, stay there. I'm like, no way. I'm not gonna stay here alone. She runs inside of our house. She doesn't have the keys. <sighs> she runs back out and she says, well, she tells me this. For some reason, I don't know what it was, but this house had like a bodyguard, like security, security guard outside at all hours of the day because it was like an art house. I don't know. You can ask him, like everyone in Mexico like carries cash. So maybe he has something on him. Like it doesn't hurt to ask him. Like we can pay him back when we get the keys to our house. And we had so much luck this day because the security guard had cash on him that he gave to Aurora so she could give the taxi driver, well, the man that drove us. And everything was fine. He let us go. Oh, I just feel um, some of the emotions that I felt uh, during that time. That was so scary. We finally got into our house like a few hours later because the rest of our group came home and they had the keys well it actually turned out the key was was actually in in one of those like plants <laughs> so we could have just got inside but we were just happy that we made it home like i never thought we would uh, i honestly thought something bad would happen like either with the police because at the point when the police was there it seemed like they wouldn't let us go i think she said that we were supposed to go along with them to jail but she actually gave them her belongings like her money and card and everything so they were happy with that which would have been a lot worse i think because then you have to pay them probably a lot more to get out and who knows like we were at that point caught as stealing from a taxi driver which were we were not stealing like because we paid him but he somehow did not understand where we were going and he got pissed that he was driving the wrong way so we had to like drive even more and he didn't want to do that i don't know what he was thinking uh, i'm just happy that we got out alive to be honest oh i'm sorry i just get chills just thinking of all of, all of this yeah it's been five or six years now and i still remember one of like some of these moments moments <laughs> like it was yesterday. So yeah, that was my little story time about the time I was almost arrested in Mexico. And I'm so happy it did not go that way. I don't know what I would do. Do not negotiate the wrong price with the wrong taxi driver in Mexico. Do whatever you want with this video. You can like it, dislike it, or you can share it with somebody who's going to Mexico soon because they might want to see this and be aware that um, stuff like this do actually happen. <sighs> That's it. Take care. I love you all.